And that would be our COVID test. Except this swab was not collected from a human nose. It was collected from a deer. Inside this lab in Dauphin, Manitoba, technicians and scientists have been probing the inside of the deer's nostrils and throats, looking for the virus that causes COVID-19. Hunters from across the province submit the heads of the deer they harvest to this western Manitoba facility. Samples are taken and tested for a number of illnesses and diseases, now including COVID-19. Last year we sent in 300 uh, swabs, just testing animals from the hunters and the occasional roadkill and whatnot, uh, and we got three positives. And while infection numbers may seem small, less than 5% of the samples tested, scientists say these cases could potentially have repercussions for other animals or even humans. After U.S. jurisdictions started testing white-tailed deer samples for COVID-19, Davis says Environment and Climate Change Canada asked provincial agencies like his to do the same proactively after seeing evidence of transmission in other species of animals around the world. We don't know if, in, if the deer, in particular in North America, will continue to have this virus actually circulate and, and become, again, this pool of viruses that could spill back into humans. Pervanche says white-tailed deer, mule deer, elk and moose have all been tested in Canada. And what biologists have found, white-tailed deer and mule deer in particular have been exposed to the same COVID infection matching that of deer in the United States. And it's surprising because when they did the uh, genotyping of the, the type of COVID that was in the deer, there was an alpha variant and delta variant and another third variant that has only been seen in the UK. The concern is if it becomes endemic in the deer, are they then going to pass it back to people? And how that virus evolves in deer, much like in humans, is still the big question. But how it evolves in animals could give researchers a better understanding of how it evolves in people. And that will take some more research before we have a clear answer. Riley Leachuk, CBC News, Winnipeg.